Welcome back to 4K Skywatching. This is the dome camera capture of the flying humanoid jetpack man, jellyfish, whatever you want to call these. Uh, here I'm panning around and I was kind of in wide angle mode and just kind of looking. And this small black dot caught my eye. And don't watch this on the phone, by the way. Watch this on the computer. You're never going to see this. Um, so anyway, I see this black object and I start zooming in. And I'm using the clouds basically as a way to adjust the focus because this dome, unfortunately, does not have a manual setting. So it goes in and out of focus at, at times. Um, when I first saw this, I thought, okay, what do we have here? It's something that's, it doesn't appear to be flying. It appears to be floating with the wind. Uh, the wind was going about 12 miles an hour that day. I can get information like that off my uh, UFO, UFODAP uh, computer system. So this doesn't seem to have its own propulsion. Um, what it looked like at the time is a black cross. And I thought this was a bad omen. Um, this was a creepy thing I filmed. Um, so it goes in and out of focus. Um, later when I examined the video more, I thought, well, well this is when the, around, I shot this around when the jellyfish video came out from Jeremy Corbell. So I don't know if it was the same thing or what, but it, now that I had recorded one, I started studying these. So I, I don't know what this is. It, it looks like it's a, a black object. It doesn't look like a balloon's tied together because they don't expand apart and contract and pull back together and expand and contract. It's one type of weird object. Um, a close examination of this, sometimes it looks like a, a person with a, a jet pack. Sometimes it could be just a bunch of balloons. My working theory so far is these are all balloons until we've proved otherwise. Um, the flying crucifix thing on here is pretty weird. What I later found out is this is a global uh, phenomenon. It's been going on for decades, but there's a lot more videos coming out. Um, there was a video, um, the Monterey Flying Witch from 2006 that a lot of people saw. It was one of the first um, things of these caught. But actually the guy from Goofon uh, recorded one of these in Phoenix back in 2005 that predates that. So he gets credit for one of the early, earliest uh, recordings of this. Uh, after you're done watching this video, I encourage you to go to a Reddit sub called Rusted Satellite. And there uh, they have a couple of moderators that are tracking uh, these objects. And I'm, I'm going to have links in the description here for dozens and dozens of these. So you can go down this uh, rabbit hole. There's a, a, a man named uh, Chris Donald that lives uh, about 40 miles north of me who's recorded this twice. And I think one of them in the recent, just a, a couple of months ago, and I blew that video up. And um, he got a, a little bit more detail than I do. And what it looks like is a person in a gray flight suit, like an Air Force type uh, flight suit. And it has black gloves, black feet, and some type of black helmet or object on the back. Um, and his is doing the same thing. As you watch these videos, there's something they all have in common. They're all about the same altitude. If you look at the altitude of these, they're almost around, usually around 1,500 feet to like 2,500 feet. Um, they all look the same. Um, a lot of them, uh, there's one in Atlanta that looks just like this with the flight suit and the black hands and the black gloves. So I almost think this is like the CIA or some... Some, somebody who has a, a reach around the planet that can put these in the sky and convince us that it's something here. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It, there's a fine line between the jellyfish type of thing that looks alive and real jetpack people out there flying around. These objects and also balloons. So it's a whole mix and you have to carefully study and separate which slot these objects go into for each sighting but they're stacking up now there's dozens of these sightings globally and if you were able to go through youtube and actually find you a full videos we, we would probably find there's hundreds maybe thousands of these all over youtube and that's one of the reasons is they make the search so hard to find to make it seem like there's nothing happening when 
there's a lot going on. So this just kind of floated there. Um, there's times here when the sun reflects off of it. And I wonder, how can the sun reflect off something that's black? Uh, if it's a matte black, they can't picture the sun reflecting off of it. So other people say that these things don't reflect the sun and they have their own light. Um, we're going to get into, uh, this video is about over here. What happens is I lose it behind this pine tree. And now I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt. I didn't run outside with the binoculars and, and videotape it more close up. But I, I didn't really think much of this at the time. I just thought, well, there's some balloons going by. And it was, it was after I studied it more. I, I thought, whoa, I, wow, I should have went outside. Uh, so what happens is through the video, then I'm waiting for it to go on the other side of the palm tree so I can continue filming it, but I didn't see it. Now, this object was going down the 101 freeway um, in Chandler, Arizona, heading south. Uh, here's a, a, a portion of the video that's been stabilized with Adobe After Effects. And here, you can see a freeze. Look, you can see the gray flight suit, kind of, the, the, the black mittens or gloves, and the black feet. Now, you, no, you'll notice this in many other videos, and also from this woodcut from 1561, where there's a lot of black crosses or crosses, and they have sometimes orbs um, at the other area, so probably never look at the, these videos again after seeing that, so maybe open your eyes to a different little fact here. Uh, here's another video where it's darkened, and you can somewhat see some of it. The details are hard to come by. It's interesting how the object flares up, um, and is that the sun reflecting off of it, or is that its own light? Uh, that's another little interesting thing to study uh, if you go into a deep dive of these objects. They also have kind of strange tentacles or, or shape shifts on them that don't make sense. Here the object kind of flares up. Um, it's interesting how the sun reflects off this, and now you can kind of see it looks more like a, a black cross. Um, and, but it does rotate, but you notice it doesn't tumble end over here. And now it has kind of like a shield, like Captain America look here. What's interesting is this dis disappears in a single frame. Boom, gone. Here it is again, a little bit of repeat, and it's gone instantly. So that's, um, I study weird stuff like this. And here's a, the final um, blow up. There might be other blow ups. So you guys can download the video and just go to town on it and see what you, maybe the, I'm sure the audience can do a better job than me um, at extracting details or putting this through an AI engine and seeing what you get out of it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is one of the creepiest things I've ever shot. If you sky watch enough, you'll probably film one of these flying humanoid squid deals. Um, so also I had the Cosmic Watch running that day. And the Cosm Cosmic Watch measures muons. And if you look at this time here, we have a lot of heavy-duty muon spikes while that thing was in the, the sky. All right, so now we're going to talk about the green tube video. Don't ask me. This is Tom's thing. This, it's, it's amazing. And we're, you're going to see... The capability of these cameras. This is what I keep saying and what we're trying to get across is this stuff is readily available. And Jeff, um, back in 2016, right when I got back into sky watching again, I was into about year or two at this point, and I was only using things that I had laying around. I hadn't really bought much. The only thing I, I, I bought was this little pan and tilt system where you had this remote control and uh, I, yeah and I got an extension cord for it so I could yeah. sit in here and put that outside on the tripod um, so I ended up having uh, two cameras um, so, I, so on the next episode of 4k sky watch and we're going to look at this green tube or whatever it was it was captured on two cameras um, it was about 35 mil minutes of footage of this we don't know if it's if it's sending Morse code, if it's, we need signal intelligence people to crack. What is this thing doing? What is, what is the message this time? I also welcome you to go over to the Great American Phenomenon Hunt, which is another channel 
I'm working with with a bunch of guys from AZ. So we're going to have live sky watches and whatnot from this one. So check it out. Thanks for watching.